Oh boy, look at that thing down there. Doesn't look like much, does it? Nothing special, nothing big and fancy. But that down there is the setting for the greatest gift the world ever received. It's true, and it all happened over 2,000 years ago. See, back then, most everyone lived in a land known as the Roman Empire. And one day, the leader of that empire a man by the name of Caesar Augustus made a royal decree. <laughs> mm, in case you missed that, he said everyone in the entire empire should be counted. But to do that, everyone had to travel to the place where they were originally from. Yeah, it was a big deal. Which brings us to a couple who were living way out in Nazareth, Joseph, and a young woman he was pledged to be married to. Her name was Mary. <laughs> Mary's moving just a hair slow because she's with child. And that child is what makes that barn down there so special. See, Mary was visited by an angel. <clears throat> what are you doing here? We haven't got to your part. I'm sorry. Go ahead then. Why don't you tell you himself? <laughs> Thank you. Couldn't have said it better myself. Basically, Gabriel the angel visited Mary and told her that she was going to have a baby. And this baby would be the son of God. Okay, back to Joseph and Mary. So, Joseph and Mary traveled all the way from Nazareth to the town of Bethlehem. That's where Joseph was from. But when they got to Bethlehem, there was nowhere to stay. Not a single inn or relative had any room. But as Joseph walked away, someone mentioned a spot where a lot of animals were that they could stay in for the night. Hmm. Now, where are the animals? They should already... Hey, animals! You there! Animals! <laughs> Ah, that's better. And once there, Mary gave birth to a son. And his name was Jesus. And he was the Son of God. He was wrapped in cloths and he was laid down to sleep in an animal's feeding trough. Now, that's not much of an entrance for the Son of God, right? A food trough? Animals? How would anyone know about the Son of God's arrival? He's in the middle of nowhere. Well... That takes us to a field. Yep, a field. And at this field, there are some shepherds. Now, shepherds were not the most famous folks. In fact, nobody really thought about them much at all. Well, nobody that is, except God. He sent an angel to, he sent an, an angel to, hey, fellas, hey, shepherds, could you, hey, this angel is trying to tell you something. God sent an angel to the shepherds that said, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news. It will bring great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Here's how you will know I'm telling you the truth. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly, a large group of angels appeared. Uh-oh. Only one angel came with his nativity set, huh? So, um, trust me, in real life, there were a ton, and the angels were singing. May glory be given to God in the highest heaven, and may peace be given to those he is pleased with on earth. As soon as the angels left, the shepherds made their way to Bethlehem. 
which thankfully was close by. When the shepherds saw that everything the angels said were true, they told Mary and Joseph everything the angels said. And Mary and Joseph were amazed. The shepherds began shouting the news from the rooftops. Whoa, whoa, not literally on the roof, fellas! It's an expression! Now this next part of the story is where I come in. God used me to send a message to some wise men who lived in the east. No, no, further east than that. Yeah, that's probably more accurate. Anyway, they saw me and knew that I was announcing the birth of a king. So they decided to follow me. And eventually, I led them to Jesus. And right off the bat, these wise men knew this young boy wasn't just a king. He was a special king the king of kings. They even brought gifts with them. Gifts fit for a king. Needless to say, this night would be the greatest night of all. The little baby that was born in the middle of nowhere lay it in a feeding trough who had stinky lowly shepherds heading up his marketing campaign. <laughs> well, he would go on to show all of us what God's love is like. He would give up his life for ours. He would be the savior of the world. Big things can come in small packages. That includes the biggest gift ever given to the world. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs>